Hey everyone and welcome to Simply Nurse YouTube channel where we will see the top tips and tricks for the Figma. You have probably seen the term Figma spoken if you have explored the interesting topic of how to create mockups in Figma. So in this tutorial we will cover everything you need to know about the tips and tricks for Figma. So without any further delay let's move ahead for our session but before we start if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. If you are a web designer or you are UX designer, you may already be familiar with the Figma and all it can do for you. But did you know that some simple Figma tips and tricks are available to help you with your tasks? And it is a tool that are responsive, quick and simple. Although the tool is simple to use, there are many hidden yet effective features to find. Although if you feel comfortable using it daily, these additional 10 suggestions may improve your workflow. Let's get right to it. The first one is Use a scale tool to avoid distortion. The second one, easiest progress ring. Third, drag objects outside of a frame while keeping them inside it. The fourth one is, swap the position, tidy up and organize the grid. Fifth, duplicate the last action. The sixth one is, preview a color with the eyedropper. Seven, fix the line height in seconds. 8th, create the square cells with ease. 9th, control the reels and unsplash. And the last one, more tricks with spacebar. Let's get into in details. So the first one is use the scale tool to avoid distortion. With the scale tool, you can keep your design pixel perfect and to use it, choose what you want to scale Press K on the keyboard and drag. This tool is extremely flexible and has several benefits. Firstly, adjust an object size is simple without picking it up a key. Second, you may adjust the sizes of several items at once with the free transform tool. Third, you may rotate an item using the free transform tool. Among the most crucial design concern is scale, which needs to be given great thought in each project. And the next one is easiest progress ring. Figma is a great application for designing rings since it has many tools and features that makes it simple to construct beautiful patterns. These are helpful for reminding users to carry out the desired action or for letting them know how much of a product or plan still they have left. And in Figma, you must first create a new file and to begin, select create new file from the screen upper left corner menu. In the menu or the left side of the screen, select the shapes. That will be the tool. Doing this will appear in the menu of several forms you may use in your design. Be advised utilizing the circle from the rings. And the next one is drag objects outside of a frame while keeping them inside it. An object can be dragged so far. Any object can attempt to drag off the canvas while immediately log back into the position. To keep an object inside a container while dragging it outside of a frame, hold down the spacebar. In order to view the object while it is outside of the container, you may also disable clip contents for the frame that includes the item. And the next one is swap position, tidy up and organize the grid. Organize your design by selecting numerous objects in an array and then clicking the grid symbols in the corner. As a result, every object spacing is equalized and you may drag items to rearrange them and change their spacing. And the fifth one is duplicate the last action. By choosing the item in Figma, hitting the keyword Ctrl plus D that is Windows or Mac OS and then dragging the copy to the desired area. You can copy an object several times. Additionally, you can use the duplicate menu option under the edit menu. Use the replicate menu or the command to copy an item many times in the grid or the pattern. And the next one is preview a color with the eyedropper. You may paint over text layers, strokes, and other vectors object with the color picker. 
The eyedropper tool allows you to add color samples from anywhere in a picture to your element panels. To acquire the desired effect, adjust the tool setting like sample size and sample using the option bar. Select the color you wish to view by clicking. Apply solid fills, gradients or pictures using the color picker. In addition, you may use the blend modes to modify a color situation or opacity. And the next one is fix line height in second. When you input auto or remove the current value from the line height box, your line height automatically adjusts if it appears weird and you don't have a specific value. Using the leading setting in the text section of the inspector's panel is a second technique to modify the line height in Figma. You may enter a number or a percentage to specify the distance between the line of the text in this option. And the next one is creating square cell with ease. Do you know how iOS app icons are shaped? They don't resemble typical rounded rectangles, they resemble square cell. In between a square and a circle, a square cell is a form. The term square cell has at least two meanings, the most popular among which is based just on the square ellipse. A combination of terms square and circle, the word square cell. In UI design, this kind of form is becoming more and more common. How to make a shape like this in Figma? It is incredibly easy. The square cell is in between a circle and square. And the next one is Control Reels and Unsplash. Two essential plugins to save the time are Content Reel and Unsplash. Avatars, names, and address, and much more can be added to your design with just one click. And thanks to Content Reel, a free resource for high quality graphics is Unsplash. When creating a new file in Figma, choose New from Unsplash to use Unsplash images. This will launch a photo library that you can look through and utilize it for your design. And the last one is More Tricks with the Spacebar. You may also set aside space as you sketch a form so that you can reposition the object afterward. Pressing the spacebar will cause Figma to immediately transfer the item into an auto frame or design if it is sufficient and can be used in the place of nesting. A spacebar is a great tool. To expand the selection size of your pointer, drag a selection region and then hold down the spacebar. You may also hold down the spacebar while sketching a form to move the items around. And in addition, you may also use the spacebar to prevent the Figma from automatically nesting items inside the frames. I hope you find this collection of Figma tips and tricks to be helpful and it is a fantastic graphic tool to design. These fundamental elements of the Figma tools are incredibly beneficial and simple to understand. There are many features in Figma but here are some of our favorite and most used tips. I hope you make use of these to increase productivity and workflow. Enjoy the designing. Stay tuned to Simply Learn. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.